Boltworks Today is a viewer-supported show. To learn more on how you can get involved and watch extended ad-free versions of these videos, please visit our website, boltworkstoday.com, and click on the top of the heading where it says support this show. Thank you. Welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. My name is Andy with Boltworks Today, and this week, we got a lot of prep work to get done. But before we jump into that, I got the rest of the support knees installed along the gunnels. So let me do a quick little one of those, kind of show you how it all turned out, and then we'll jump into the video. So in total, I installed 12 knees, six on the port side and six on the starboard side. And it, basically, they were all these were installed the exact same way that I showed in the video a couple of weeks ago. And I will include a link, a pop-up link, up in the top right corner if you happen to miss that video. And holy crap, did they make a huge difference. I mean, this was, this was the weakest part of the, of the gunnels up, up until I put the supports in. There's no way I could have done this without something breaking. And solid as a rock. I was looking for these. <laughs> so this is the fuel tank that came with the boat. It's never been installed, it's never been used. Now, the, I'm guessing the original one was kind of tossed out because from what I understand, there was a, an issue with fiberglass tanks uh, and ethanol gas. Evidently, the, the resin that was used, you know, building some of the, the older style uh, tanks, the, the ethanol would kind of break down the resin, gummed everything up, and just kind of, you know, wreak havoc on, uh, on engine systems. So. This one was uh, basically made to be ethanol safe. Now this particular tank was made by Polyutech out of Miami and it's an 80 gallon tank. It would have been nice if it was a little bit larger, but here it says right here, uh, plastic ethanol resistant. So hopefully they're not lying. But right now this tank is in my way. You know, so the next thing I'm going to be focusing on is going to be building out this cockpit area and part of that is going to involve having to get into this, uh, get into this spot here. So. This tank, it's got to go. Now this is an area, to be perfectly honest, this is an area that I haven't really looked uh, real closely at at all. Uh, but now that I'm kind of thinking a little bit further ahead, uh, I'm a little concerned that the, the height of these fittings uh, isn't going to fit underneath this decking. Because just kind of spanning across here, I know that this tape measure isn't uh, being held completely flat, but uh, I've only got about, I don't know, two, maybe three inches to the top of this fitting. And I'm guessing that the fitting is going to have to accommodate some kind of an elbow, uh, you know, to lead up towards the, towards the fill. Um, that might be a problem. And if that's the case, I may have to rip out a part of this floor that the, uh, that the, the Hank is resting on. But one thing at a time, that's, this is not the focus for today. This thing's got away close to 200 pounds. Oh. <sighs> Whew, that was fun. I need to drink, need to drink water. <laughs>
So my overall goal for this area, which I've done a video on as far as how I'm going to be changing the layout. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put a pop-up right up in here. But just kind of going over uh, real briefly here, what I'm essentially looking to do is to build out the sides in here, to bring those in to make this, I guess, this walk path going forward a little bit more narrow. And then also by doing that, that's going to give me better, I guess, a better foot area for both the, the helm and the passenger. Now, as part of this, without, again, without going into too much detail, uh, this, for this area specifically, I want this to be kind of a nice finished uh, storage locker. And in order to do that, basically these sides in here uh, need to be covered, glassed over, and then finished with something. I don't know if it's going to be gel coat or, or a nice paint, um, as well as the, the actual build area down here. Because I, I want it to be nice and smooth. I want it to look nice. You know, right now it looks, uh, well, a, li a little ghetto-ish. <laughs> so I need to figure out how to do that. Now, originally from the factory, I think that there was something like this in place, uh, but the previous owner had done some slicing and dicing as part of some of the handiwork that they have done on here uh, before I got the boat. And then I had to do a little bit more cutting on here as well uh, to get access to the top area of the stringer because you know, there was an area there that was kind of bothering me and it would have caused problems with trying to finish off the inside of this storage locker. So um, that area is taken care of. So now I need to figure out how I'm going to be able to fabricate a, essentially a fiberglass insert uh, without a mold. So here's what I'm thinking about trying, or at least this is what I'm going to try first. Now this is an old piece or an old cutoff piece that I removed from down here when I had to do the, uh, the repair over here on the stringer. But since this is a cutoff piece, from right here, it gives me the exact radius I need on both edges as well as the overall width. So here's kind of what I'm thinking of trying. Is I'm going to make a little kind of floppy here, but I'm going to make a, uh, some kind of a little strong back for this to set into so that these two, uh, well, I'm going to call them legs, but these two uh, pieces coming down here, they're so that they'll be spread to the correct width that just didn't sound right, but I, I think you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and then, uh, so, so this will be basically inside of a little mold or, a, or some kind of a jig, just to kind of hold its shape. And then on my workbench, then I was going to lay up a single piece of 1708 with probably epoxy, but just a single layer that's, well, however long it needs to be to go, you know, up, uh, over, and then back down on this form, as well as probably 20... I don't know, 24 inches wide, uh, basically wide enough to cover from here all the way down to the, uh, to the, the bottom in the bilge here. Because ideally, basically what I'm looking for is to have a, a solid piece that will start from here, come all the way down, all the way around, be able to tab that in place, and then so that essentially this will become a somewhat of a, a, a sealed compartment, you know, just completely sealed off from everything else. Now, I'm going to be honest, I, I don't know for sure that it's going to work. I know that a single layer of 1708 will be able to take this bend, and then after it has that bend on there, uh, then I'll be able to come back over with some additional layers of 1708 to kind of build it up, reinforce it, so that when I pop it off of this thing, it will, or it should, in theory, kind of hold its shape. And at that point, then I'll have to do some, you know, some trimming and whatever just to kind of get it fit in place. But I think that I think that'll work. Uh, place your bets. I don't know. Let me know in all the comments. You think that's going to be a, you think that's going to be a good way to approach this, or do you think I should try and find um, you know something like a like a, a quarter inch flexible coring material and just kind of laminate it uh, to the shape that I need in here? It, I think it's essentially trying to accomplish the same, or it's a very similar approach, except one is going to be made out of solid glass, whereas the other one would be made out of, I don't know, some kind of a 
plastic or a foam type of a, of a board. But anyways, let me know your, your thoughts down in the comment. I'll be reading those uh, as I'm kind of working through this process. So it'll be kind of neat to see if anybody comes up with, you know, kind of a, a unique idea, something that I didn't, uh, didn't think about. So leave your comments down below and we'll see what, it, see what comes of it. And with that said, I think this is gonna be a good spot to end this video because I need to start experimenting on how I'm gonna actually make a part without you know, actually making a mold. So now again, just to recap, this is gonna be the area that, I'm, that the, the next probably two, two or three videos are gonna be uh, focusing on. So if you like this idea, please uh, hit that subscribe button and hit that little notification bell. Uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those down below. And as always, thank you for your time. And thanks for watching. This has been a Boatworks Today Protection.